Combo Rafikis, that means hello friends. I'm up and I'm here waiting for Adam. But I wonder where he could be. Maybe I'll call him real quick. Oh, it looks like he left me a message. Oh, you guys, this is a crazy message. Meet me. Watch out for a croc. Oh, man. I do not like the sound of this. What? That's cray cray. Adam! Hello, Adam! Adam! Hello! Where were you? Did you not get my message? Oh, I got your message. Loud and clear. Meet me. Watch out for a croc. No, and no, I'm no, watching. No, no. Meet me off the south route at four o'clock. Oh, south route at four o'clock. Whew, I'm glad I'm safe. I guess I just got confused by your message. I thought you were trying to tell me one thing when you're actually telling me something totally different. You know, that can happen. Sometimes we all get messages that are messed up or misunderstood, but you know what message is always perfect? The Bible. You got that right. You see, God knew that we would need something written down on paper so we could know who He is and how He wants us to live. In fact, God used over 40 different people to write the entire Bible. God spoke and the authors would write it down. Two of the authors who wrote down the words God said were named Jeremiah and Baruch. Jeremiah was a prophet, which meant God would send him messages about things that were going to happen. During this time, the people were not living how they were supposed to. They were sinning. Dun, dun, dun. God wanted the people to stop it already. God knew they needed more information on who he is and how he wanted them to live. And Jeremiah was just the person to help. So God spoke to Jeremiah and said, write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you. Jeremiah wanted to obey God and he needed help to write down everything God said. And this is where the other guy comes into the story. So Jeremiah repeated every word God said to Baruch who wrote it all down. And then Baruch went into Jerusalem and read God's word to the people so they would stop sinning. God wanted Jeremiah to write down everything he said so the people could read God's words and know how to live. And because God told Jeremiah exactly what words to write, we know that the message didn't get messed up when Baruch wrote it down. So the same words that Jeremiah told Baruch to write down a way long time ago are the same words we read in our Bibles today? Yes, because the Bible is God's word. Wow, the Bible must be older than a rhino's horn. But if it's so old, can I still use it now? Of course, because the Bible never changes. Shoo, so God's word is perfect and it never changes. Not like the message you left me today. Yeah, sorry about that up. There's not Crocs for miles. All right, guys, it's time for us to take a dip in the watering hole. Quaheri! Sure is a good day for a swim. Yeah!